Hello world, welcome to a data manipulation tutorial. Here we're going to be using JavaScript, D3, and Lodash to manipulate some JSON data. And essentially we're going to merge two arrays. Uh, what I've done so far is I've created a variable called a GDP and I'm using the native d3.json method to bring in our data which I've logged out to the console so if I save that right below we should be able to see the result awesome so we get an object this particular excuse me we get an, an array which contains an object there's also data inside of each of these components so the objects they have a name which corresponds to a city and they have data this data is GDP so what we want to do is we want to take this GDP data for each of these cities and we want to match it up with the period data and the period in this case responds to our time so we've got a raw data set which contains our our time component only once. This allows us to go in and use JavaScript to assign that particular time data to each of our GDP values. And we're going to do that with a couple of for each loops. The first one, we're going to do data dot for each and we're going to pass it a function. Inside of that, we're going to create a variable called headers and the purpose of this variable headers is to extract all of the cities all of the keys that correspond with our data object so I want to have Calgary, Edmonton, Abbotsford, Hamilton etc inside of my var headers and to do that We're going to rely on the object.keys method and we're going to reference each key within our data. So likewise, if we log that out, you're going to see what I mean. There we are. Perfect. Now, with our headers, we're going to enter our second for each loop. And we're going to do likewise. Come in here, pass it the argument header. We're doing for each header. And we're going to reference GDP again. We're going to create a new element inside of our GDP object it's going to take the key of header and we're going to set the value equal to the period for each header. Now there's a little bit of magic here courtesy of Lodash and we're going to do underscore dot zip. That merges these two components. So D dot period returns an array, D dot header returns an array, or excuse me, D header returns an array. Underscore dot zip simply merges the two of those. So if I come out of here and I return GDP, I can console dot log GDP and we can inspect the transformation. And so while that loads, remember that what, what we wanted to do was merge our time data and our value data. So in this case, our period is years and our headers each contain unique GDP data, which gets logged out down here in the console. So each of these it, this looks a lot like our original data object, you'll note. Same structure. The major exception is that instead of having 
a one-dimensional array, we get a two-dimensional array with each value linked to the appropriate year. So just to recap, my name is Derek. I'm from cashflow.ca. We merged two arrays with JavaScript, D3, and Lodash. To do that, we bring in our file with the native d3.json code. We take our data and we do a for each loop on top of our data. We pull out the headers using the object.keys. For each of our headers, we loop a gain on each header and we create this beautiful two-dimensional array, which is going to be super handy in the chart which I ultimately deploy. This is Derek from cashflow.ca. I appreciate you guys watching the tutorial. If you have some questions, if you can improve on the existing code, please let me know. Leave a comment. I'd love to hear your feedback on how this can be improved. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.